Hi Pisces, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you subscribe if you resonate. Uh, for all my returning viewers, thank you so much for coming back. I don't know why that was so difficult for me to say, but moving on. Um, this is going to be just a spread to see what you need to know. What, what are the most important messages for my Pisces viewers and anybody drawn to this reading? Um, so hopefully it'll give you clarity on whatever you're going through and whatever you need to know. This will be good for Pisces with placements in sun, moon, rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with a Pisces, uh, you can cross watch and some of these messages may be for you as well. Energy works in weird ways. So I could be reading for you or the person you're dealing with at any given point during the reading. Okay. So some of it might resonate with you and be for you, and some of it might be for the person that you're dealing with. Okay, Pisces? So, let's go ahead and jump into your reading. It looks like you there's a you're dealing with someone, you need to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. There needs to be some type of uh, conversation regarding feelings, regarding where this situation is going. Like an open and honest conversation. I feel like it's, I just heard a long time coming, right? So this is a long time coming. Uh, it could be something that someone's been avoiding, I'm getting. So someone could be avoiding a conversation. Someone could be resisting a connection here. This is a romance of a lifetime. Pisces. Romance of a lifetime. This is a true love. So, okay, what's going on? What's going on? Dealing with a true love situation. I feel like there's a lot of chemistry between you and this person. I do feel like there's a lot of passion between the two of you. I have to sit crisscross applesauce so that I can actually reach over my desk. Okay, so um, yeah, true love connection, romance of a lifetime. This is somebody you have a very strong connection with. Yeah, lots of passion. That's what I was picking up on. Lots of passion. You, you know what's so funny? As I say that, look at this. This is what comes out. Passion. So you and this person have a very, very passionate connection, Pisces. So I do feel distance, though, between the two of you. It could be physical. It could also be uh, emotional, right? I do sense that maybe somebody's a little closed off. Somebody's resisting their feelings or trying to. Somebody's really trying to resist this connection. I don't know if this is you or them, but one of you is here trying to resist. I feel like the feelings are very strong and I just heard scary but it might um yeah it might be scary uncomfortable this is somebody that you've dealt with before in the past okay this is somebody that's been in your life it's somebody that uh you, there's a need for you to heal a situation with Okay, there could be age difference between the two of you. There could be, again, distance between the two of you. I feel like you guys could have two completely different upbringings in the way that you grew up. Um, a lot of differences in life in general. Different viewpoints, different uh, religions, things like that. There is a need for somebody to express their love here, express their feelings. Yeah, you guys are in separation, but you guys are coming out of separation, right? I feel like in order to come out, yeah, worth waiting for. Look at that. With the honeymoon card, which I, I as a reader, view this as like the six of swords. Somebody wants to, somebody's running out of patience and they're ready to have a conversation. They're ready to move towards you or you them and have this conversation that's been needing to be had. A conversation that somebody's been resisting, right? Pisces. I also was picking up like on a very distracted energy when I first started recording your reading. I thought it was just me, but I feel like this is in connection to your reading. Somebody is trying to keep themselves distracted so they don't have to think about their feelings, right? So they don't have to sit in their feelings. Mm -hmm. Can't do that forever. Pisces, is this you or is this your person? Who is this? Let's see. True love, romance of a lifetime. I feel like... I feel like both of you know and realize what this connection is, but again, there's that avoiding energy. Yeah, okay. And somebody's running out of patience when it comes to this. So what else can you tell me about this connection for my Pisces viewers? What do they need to know? Okay, so someone could be in a family situation. <clears throat> someone could have children, which is... 
affecting this connection. One of you is trying to get support from family and friends, maybe asking for advice <clears throat> and what to do in this connection. So your the answers to this will come in the summertime. So you are close to receiving some type of communication or um, movement, right? And this connection by the end of summer. What else? What else? Release fear, anxiety, and doubt. So relax, unwind. Someone could need to release a situation in order for this to come together. Also, yeah, it could be somebody that they have a family with even. So somebody could be looking into releasing a family situation. For others of you, this is releasing control, allowing things to unfold naturally, releasing control, releasing the need to know what's gonna happen and when it's gonna happen, right? There is a situation, somebody could be, like I said, releasing a family, some type of home situation. If it's not a family, maybe changing who they live with or releasing themselves from some type of home situation. Again, there's somebody here who is trying to run from this connection, trying to run from their feelings so they don't have to feel it. They're like uh, trying to keep themselves busy so they don't have to Set in their feelings because it's uncomfortable. What else for Pisces? Pisces, Pisces. Yeah, awakening. Look at that. Somebody is awakening to this connection. They're realizing. Okay, so this person, whoever, whichever one of you was closed off, whoever was closed off and trying to avoid this connection, they're awakening to this. They're going to, something's going to happen. They're going to be forced to sit in their feelings. They're really going to understand what this is, wake up to this connection. And then that's when an offer comes in, right? That's when, that's when the roles reverse. Okay. First you have a runner, then you have a chaser, somebody's awakening. And that's when the off, the offer comes in. They're going to stop running and then they're going to come in and chase you or vice versa, but they have to awaken first, right? They have to awaken first. There is a need to forgive here. Again, you could have been dealing with this person for a while. They could have done something uh, to you in the past or vice versa. And there's a need to release that. Release that. Forgive from the situation and move forward. Uh, okay, someone's in a karmic connection here. That's what they're needing to release. So someone's with a karmic partner. That could be who they have a family with or children with or something like that, that's who they need to release in this connection. Okay. This is a twin flame connection, Pisces, twin flame connection that's gonna come together in divine timing. And there will be a, a resolution to this by the end of the summertime. So it's coming, but there's a need to be patient. So that's that energy I was talking about of like controlling the outcome. Whoever is doing that needs to release and surrender. Okay. Because that's going to prevent this. It's going to push it out longer, not prevent it, but it's going to push it out longer. Divine timing. Okay. You guys are connected in the 5D. You and this person are like very spiritually connected. You guys could even be like communicating in dreams, uh, something like that. Like this is a very spiritual connection that you have. Could be with an Aquarius. Pisces. What's going on, Pisces? Yeah, someone could be married to a karmic partner that they need to release in order to come into connection with their twin flame. But I do see it coming together here. So let's see. It's funny that the runner and chaser both came out right above twin flame. It's just like double confirmation. Okay. So let's see. Pisces, what's going on with you? Are you running Pisces? Are you the runner or the chaser? Let's see. All right. What messages do you have for Pisces? Could be dealing with a Taurus. A Taurus could be involved. Or this is that commitment, right? Okay. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, resistance. Look at this. 
someone is really stuck up in their head and resisting this connection. There's a need to take control in order to have this new beginning, okay? Someone could have Aries in their chart. But look at that. New beginning in love. Lots of emotions. That's beautiful. So, yeah, somebody's waiting on a, on a commitment to end. Again, there could be distance between the two of you. Okay, but there's a conversation that needs to be had in order to move forward on this new beginning. But right now, that's hidden, right? Someone doesn't know that that's even coming. That's that that. Da, 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 that that is even coming in, right? Could be with a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But look at this, new beginnings, stable new beginnings. You have two aces here, ace of cups, ace of pentacles, Pisces. Okay, the empress, nurturing this connection. Um, Libra, Gemini, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What is this? Uh, five of Swords in reverse. So coming out of this Five of Swords energy. Okay. You and this person are probably on a break right now or not very, not communicating. If you are, it's very little. You could have had an argument here, which resulted in a break between the two of you in communication. What else? Yeah, someone was very guarded in this connection. But there is, let me tell you, there is communication coming in, Pisces. I feel like maybe you're the one that needs to, to communicate, right? That's not going to be for everybody, but um, seeing things from a different perspective. Somebody is awakening and seeing this connection from a different perspective here. Now they want to put in work. Now they want to let their guard down, right? Now they want to let their guard down. Because, look at this, Two of Cups, look at that connection. Very strong connection. Wish fulfillment. Somebody has regrets the way things ended. Could have been with an Aquarius. Strong Aquarius here. Um, regrets. Feeling like they missed an opportunity. Remaining hopeful. Feeling left out in the cold. They're waiting. Someone here is waiting for something. Waiting for something to end in order to come forward and communicate. Right? Look at that. And then when they do communicate, what's funny is... They're coming in as the page of pentacles so it's like when they do come in and communicate it might start off something like this quote me hey how have you been um what's new with you nothing very serious right look at this you have the king and queen of, of swords here divine masculine divine feminine um hey how are you it's gonna come in as like something very little just to see just to kind of like gauge your reaction and then i feel like after that, here comes the truth. Here comes the quick moving energy. You know, let me see if I get a response first is what I just heard. Let me see if they'll respond to me. And then boom, here it comes. Conversation, new beginning. You have three aces, ace of swords, ace of pentacles, and the ace of cups. Look at this, guys. What? This is amazing. Look at that. That looks really good, Pisces. I'm just saying. So, um, yeah, that is what I see for you coming in. Those are the messages you needed to know, needed to know today. If you resonated, make sure you comment, leave me a comment, letting me know. I love to read your guys' comments. I will be going live here in about an hour on YouTube to do free readings. So if you need clarity on anything or you have any specific questions, just hop on. And I'll talk to you guys soon.